welcome to natural skincare school youtube channel in this i think second to the last video or even the last video for tonight i want to show you different product that i use to make skincare product it may not really be only natural industry it may even be you know synthetic also but just want to show you different emulsifier i will show you other ones too and I will wrap this up, but let me start with the emulsifier. Uh, the different emulsifiers are used, okay, to mix oil with water, okay? That's how we make our lotion, for instance. We mix uh, oil with water to make our lotion or even hair conditioner. So the, the most popular emulsifier I know you are used by this one by now is called Olive M1000. Olive M1000 is a very, you know, EcoSat approved emulsifier used to make beautiful lotion with the exception of uh, of the tacky feeling the soaping effect it's bad with soaping effect the only time that it will not soap on you is when you had dimeticone to this formula which it's very controversial and it's not accepted in the natural uh, skincare industry so that's why you know olivem has given a lot of people a lot of headache because it soaps like crazy. If there's nothing that accompany, accompany it, it will soap and it's not good for your company. But you can actually use this also to make uh, conditioner, hair conditioner for instance, so you don't have to worry about the soaping. So if you cannot use your Olive M1000 to make lotion because you cannot use, add dimeticone to it, then you can use it to make shampoo. It makes beautiful shampoo and conditioner. Oh no, conditioner, it makes beautiful conditioner. So that's one. Another very good emulsifier is uh, Rital Mousse. Okay, Rital Mousse SCG is a very good emulsifier that makes very beautiful uh, lotion. It makes a very fluffy lotion, and it's a um, cream. It's a very good emulsifier. You just have to know how to use it. You have to know the percentage to use. So Rital Mousse is also a very very good emulsifier. very cost also is a good emulsifier i think for air products i have not really really worked w much about with this one but when i work with it i will let you know exactly how it is but very soft is also a good emulsifier okay here is another emulsifier that that can really make your product look pearly you know when you know the pearl style in lotion this is what causes it's called glycerin steroids uh, you can have it in the powder form or you can have it in flakes form. So this is how it looks. That's the powder form. It looks lot more like uh, steric acid. And uh, in, uh, in flake form, that's, that's, this is where how it looks. Okay. And that's about it for glass. You can use it as a primary no as a co emulsifier you cannot use it as a primary emulsifier so going to btms uh, 50 this emulsifier you can use it a little bit to make lotion but it's best for air product it gives a good conditioning property to shampoo so it's it's a good to uh, emulsifier that it's really really scarce in the market right now Another very good emulsifier is uh, Rita 225. It's mainly for hair, okay? But I've not really worked much with this, so I can't really tell you what I expect from it. I've another very good emulsifier is called Simol Salt 165 by Lotion Crafter. This emulsifier is a go-to emulsifier because it makes very, very good lotion. It's 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 imparts beautiful skin feel and lotion. So I'm going to do a project on some of them so that you see the outcome of them. Simul saw is uh, has been sold by Lotion Crafter and is a very very good. Um, I work with it. I love it. It's just it almost gives this uh, the same. Uh, skin fade with Ritamus, with the exception that Ritamus can uh, can make Tika lotion, okay, or Tika cream. For body butter, you can use either of two. They will give you very very beautiful 
even though they may not be accepted in the natural industry but if you uh, if you are formulating custom product like i do this will give you a very very good product another very important emulsifier let me start with this bt hms is also um and here emulsifier and for skincare product also uh it's almost in terms of conditioning property that's half of what btms 50 has okay so it's more this produce more uh stable conditioner very good conditioner that you can really feel the conditioning effect on your hair right away when you use this it's just a little bit of conditioning effect so a lot of people prefer this to this now let's go for polar wax polar wax is also an emulsifying wax but it's, i think it's more stable more preferred it gives more stable product even using you can use it as a lone emulsifier if you had fatty acid but i'll go into that uh, shortly so that's this is a very good polar wax is good it produces better i mean less soaping effect than when you use uh, olive 1000 so it's a very good emulsifier Another very good emulsifier is called Zealand. Zealand is not a common emulsifier. It's um, something I got off formula, formulator sample shop website. It's a non ionic surfactant, okay? And it's good for making a variety of uh, skincare products. And it's also, it can be used as a co emulsifier, okay? is a very as uh, a byproduct of you know crops it has very good stability in formula so this is a very good emulsifier to make a stable skincare product it's good it's soft and not tacky after feel so this might be a good uh, emulsifier to tackle soaping effect but it's highly expensive so that's why not it's not being used by most skincare brands but it's also an emulsifier to give to give a try you can try this to see exactly how it works for you so that's about it for all my emulsifier you ask me so what emulsifier is natural uh what type of an emulsifier should i be using to make natural skincare but i will talk about that in another video to give you the best natural EcoSat approved emulsifier, but hey, the best one so far is Olive M1000. Uh, it's it gives soaping effect. Um, it's a lot, it's a lot of stress. A lot of people do, to tell you the truth, a lot of people do have dimethicone to Olive M1000. They will have the dimethicone then at low percentage, especially natural skincare industry. Then they will use um, an emulsifier like uh, Ritamos. They can add it to it to stabilize it. I think that's what's the the drill. But it's not the best. If you use dimethicone in a product and you call it natural, I don't think that is truly natural. Except if your customer or your client agree that you should use dimethicone. But in the natural industry, it's not really acceptable. But if you're making general skincare products, uh, these uh, emulsifiers are non-toxic, so they can be used to make varieties of skincare products. That's about it for um, emulsifier. If you have any question about what emulsifier to use, uh, if you have concern or you have suggestion, please, we are open to that. Feel free to talk to us by leaving a comment in the comments uh, box below. Also, if you want to improve your formulation skill, this is a channel for you. So don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification icon to be notified when I upload new videos. Thank you so much for watching.